All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying solid in these times that we're in. I hope that y'all staying prayed up and strong and protected and safe. I hope that you had an easy going day, and I pray that whatever challenges are ahead of you, that you overcome them. And I pray that the Most High be with you in everything that you do. And I hope that you get new beginnings and open doors from now on, all right? Now, in today's message, I want to discuss about you know, trusting in the Lord, trusting in God's plan, you know, trust in relationships, the importance of trust, you know, trusting God and not worrying, trusting God in difficult times, you know, it's very important that we trust in God's love and trust in his presence, you know, because sometimes a lot of people trust the wrong people or trust others or even trust themselves, you know, sometimes people fail themselves or others fail you. And you have to always remember, this is why we always put the most high first and we cry out to him for our help, and we always lean on him because, um, you know, people can mislead you or deceive you. Uh, people can lead you on. People can lift you up and tear you down. Um, so you can't really always put your trust in every single person. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean to have a heart wax cold. There's still good, great people out here. There's people out here with great hearts that are worthy of trust. And um, it takes time to meet or run into those type of people. Sometimes you may go through an isolation phase where you might have fallouts with certain people or just have a small circle, what have you. But all in all, the you know, the Bible does tell us to choose our friends carefully and that bad company corrupts good character and things of that nature. So um, we have to have our guard up towards certain people and certain people have to let our guard down. But all in all, we definitely have to have our guard down towards the most high because um, we always trust in the Lord through it all. You know, he, he, we have to trust in him through it all. So it's very important that we always, you know, focus on trust, you know, trusting ourselves, having confidence, but also trusting in the most high when things get out of our control or we feel like, you know, things just get a bit overwhelmed. All right. So what I would like to do is just read some scriptures dealing with trust trusting in the most high and just going from there because it's a lot to really unpack you know a lot of people have been offended have been betrayed have been manipulated have been used hurt been through painful experiences through other people to a point where um they view they, they generalize all people and view all people the same and not everybody's done harm to you Sometimes when you have that intention or vibe of closing off people, you end up closing off good people that did nothing to you in the first place. So we have to have more discretion and have more discernment on who really has our best interest and who doesn't. And also, um, we have to ask God to put the right people in our lives that are willing, that are under his will, you know, that can help you become a better person in your purpose and your, your, um, your calling because being around the right people is very important, especially in these times that we're in. All right. There's still great people to meet and be around. You just got to be patient with that. OK, so I would like to read some scriptures dealing with trust or have you anything related to it and go from there. The book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 19. So that your trust may be in the Lord. I have taught you today, even you. The book of Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 28. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. The book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 15. The rich man's wealth is his fortress. The ruin of the poor is their poverty. The book of Psalm 25, verse 2. O oh my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be ashamed. Do not let my enemies exalt over me. The book of Psalm 7, verse 1. A Shagion of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush, a Benjamite. O oh Lord, my God, in you I have taken refuge. Save, save me from all those who pursue me and deliver me. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. The book of Psalm 2, verse 12. Do homage to the son that he not become angry and you perish in the way for his wrath may soon be kindled. How blessed are all who take refuge in him. The book of Psalm 31, verse 14. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. The book of Psalm 44, verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, nor will my sword save me. 
The book of Psalm 20, verse 7. Some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord our God. The book of Psalm 56, verse 11. In God I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? The book of Psalm 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 5. Thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in mankind and makes flesh his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. Hey, hello. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 4. Do not trust in deceptive words, saying this is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. The book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 10. He who is faithful in a very little thing is also faithful to much. And he who is unrighteous in every little thing is also unrighteous in much as well. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 11. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. The book of 2 Kings, chapter 4, verse 9 through 10. She said to her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is a holy man of God passing us passing by us continually. Please let us make a little walled up upper chamber and let us set a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand. It shall be when he comes to us that he could turn in there. The book of Psalm 41, verse 9. Even my close friend of whom I'm trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Uh, the book of Psalm 9, verse 10. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. The book of Psalm 125, verse 1, a song of ascents. Those who trust in the Lord are as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 4, let everyone be on guard against his neighbor and do not trust in any brother, because every brother deals craftily, and every neighbor goes about as a slanderer. All right, so let's have our heart renewed, okay? Let's trust, let's trust the Most High, okay? Let's be blessed, okay? We have to always stay strong with our trust. Hallelujah. Let's see. Here we go from here. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 28. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf. Hello? The book of Psalm 118, verse 8 through 9. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in its princes. The book of Psalm 146, verse 3. Do not trust in princes and mortal men in whom there is no salvation. Okay. The book of Psalm 49, verse 6. Even those who trust in their wealth and boast in their abundance of their riches. How will they flourish? How will they stand if they don't trust in the Most High? The book of Psalm 40, verse 4. How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust and has not turned to the proud nor to those who lapse in falsehood. All right. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 9. Indeed, we had the sentence of death within ourselves so that we would not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. Hello. The book of Psalm 11, verse 1. For the choir director, a psalm of David, and the Lord, I take refuge. How can you say, take my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? The book of Psalm 31, verse 4, 14. The book of Psalm 31, verse 14. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. All right. So let's see. The book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 6. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? The book of Psalm 56, verse 11. In God I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? All right. See, the book of Psalm 25, verse 20, 
Guard my soul and deliver me. Do not let me be ashamed, for I take refuge in you. The book of Psalm 141, verse 8. For my eyes are toward you, O God the Lord, and you I have take refuge to. I have and you I take refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. The book of Psalm 31, verse 1. For the choir director, a Psalm of David. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. And your name in your righteousness deliver me. The book of Psalm 52, verse 8. But as for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the love and kindness of God forever and ever. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 4. Trust in the Lord forever. For in God, the Lord, we have an everlasting rock. The book of Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times. O people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. The book of Psalm 36, verse 7. How precious is your love and kindness, O God, and the children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. Yes, the shadow of your wings. The book of Psalm 64, verse 10. The righteous man will be glad in the Lord and will take refuge in him, and all the upright in heart will glory. The book of Psalm 9, verse 9 through 10. The Lord also will be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble, and those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. The book of Psalm 112, verse 6 through 7. For he will never be shaken. The righteous will be remembered forever. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. All right. Let's see where we go from here. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verse 45. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. Mm -hmm. There you go, David. Take down your Goliath. Make sure y'all go tear down your Goliath, all right? The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Who delivered us from so, from so a great a peril of death and will deliver us, he on whom we have set our hope, and he will yet deliver us. All right. Let's see what we have here. The book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe. The book of Psalm 91, verse 12. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. The book of Psalm 112, verse 7. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 3. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior, you save me from violence. The book of Psalm 37, verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate the fullness, faithfulness. The book of Psalm 33, verse 20 through 21, our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, but... For our heart rejo rejoices in him because we trust in his holy name. Mm -hmm. Let's see right here. The book of Psalm 115, verse 9 through 11. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The book of Psalm 4, verse 5. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and trust in the Lord. All right. The book of Psalm 5, verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. And may you shout to them that those who love your name may exalt in you. The book of Psalm 33, verse 21. For our heart, our heart, our heart rejoices in him because we trust in this holy name. Mm hmm. Trusting in the Most High. The book of Psalm 13, verse 5. But I have trusted in your loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. Mm -hmm. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 12. 
O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we are powerless before this great multitude who are coming against us, nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are on you. Mm -hmm. We trust in the Lord, people. Trust in the Lord. All right. The book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 3 through 4. For we are the true circumcision who worship in the spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. Although I myself might have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I far more. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4, such confidence we have through Christ towards God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Always trust the Lord, people. Always, always, always. All right. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. For this reason, I also suffer these things, but I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 12. In whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 25. The fear of man brings a snare. But he who trusts in the Lord will be exalted. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 20. He who gives attention to the word will find good. And blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 25. An arrogant man stirs up strife, but he who trusts in the Lord will prosper. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 26. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks wisely will be delivered. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence and his children will have refuge. The book of Second Samuel, chapter 23, verse five. Truly is not my house so with God, for he has made an everlasting covenant with me ordered in all things and secured for all my salvation and all my desire. Will he not indeed make it grow? The book of Psalm 71, verse four through five. Rescue me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the grasp of the wrongdoer and the ruthless man, the ruthless man, for you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my confidence from my youth. Mm -hmm. The book of Second Kings, chapter 18, verse five. He trusted in the Lord the God of Israel, so that after him there was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor among those who were before him. Mm -hmm. The book of Psalm 119, verse 42. So I will have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. The book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 13. When you cry out, let your collection of idols deliver you, but the wind will carry all of them up, and a breath will take them away. But he who takes refuge in me will inherit the land and will possess my holy mountain. The book of Proverbs, chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. All right. Always remember that. The book of Daniel, chapter three, verse 28. Nebuchadnezzar responded and said, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who put their trust in him, violating the king's command and yielded up their bodies so that as to not serve or worship any God except their own God. Mm -hmm. The book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse four, trust in the Lord forever for in God, the Lord, we have an everlasting rock. The book of first Peter chapter five, verse seven, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. All right. The book of Psalm 34, verse 22, the Lord redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who take refuge in the movement will be condemned. Mm -hmm. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse three, the steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace because he trusts in you. The book of Psalm 32, verse 10, many are the sorrows of the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, love and kindness shall surround him. The book of Psalm 37, verse 40, the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The book of Psalm 125, verse 1, a song of ascents. Those who trust in the Lord 
are as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Mm -hmm. The book of Psalm 36, verse 7. How precious is your love and kindness, O God, and the children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. The book of Psalm 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The book of Psalm 26, verse 1. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. The book of Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he will do it. The book of Psalm 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. The book of Psalm 65, verse 5. By awesome deeds, you answer us in righteousness, O God of our salvation. You who are the trust of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea. The book of Psalm 71, verse 5. For you are my hope. O Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. The book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in a day of trouble, and he knows those who take refuge in him. All right. The book of Job, chapter 13, verse 15. Though he slay me, I will hope in him. Nevertheless, I will argue my ways before him. All right. So let's always trust the Lord. All right. In everything that we do, put your trust in the most high. Because he's worthy. Only he is worthy. Nobody is worthy. Only the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is worthy. All right. So let's have that faith and trust. Let's have that faith in God. All right. Let's have that optimism. Let's keep trusting in God's plan. Okay. Let the most high bring the right people around your way. Let you fellowship and be able to communicate with decent people from now on. Because we're going to need it in these times that we're in. Many of us have been in a situation of loneliness or isolation or being misunderstood but from here on out the most high is bringing good people around your way to a point where you won't have to have your guard up or you won't have to have anxiety about it all right iron sharpens iron so the most high is going to bring some strong people around you as well to correct you and let you know when you're wrong and uphold you to certain expectations of the word hallelujah so there y'all have it just wanted to express that um to trust in god's plan all right, and being trustworthy towards him. All right, stop trusting the man so much. Stop trusting others so bad. And just trust the Lord and trust his word. All right, so there you have it. So what I'm going to do as we close out is just give all the glory and honor to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and praise his son who died for our sins. As we close out from there, here we go. He is the Adam, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, Hallelujah. He is the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins. Yes, yes, he is. He is very awesome. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty. Hallelujah. He is the, the Alpha and Omega, the Amen, the apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the Adam, the advocate, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end. The, the beginning of the creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, the faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, the first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, 
the King of saints, the King of the ages, the King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshaya, Yeshua, Mahamashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Barakatha, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, hallelujah, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone to build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. And there y'all have it. All praise to the most high of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is awesome. And his son that died for our sins is amazing too. And the blood still works. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus all over you in all your lives, in all areas of your lives. All right. Let everything you touch prosper from now on. As we close out, here we go. So I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized and you start your life for the most high. I pray that you have new beginnings. I pray that you are safe and protected. I pray that you stay blessed and anointed. And I stay. I pray that you conquer over your enemies. And I pray that you have your trust towards the Most High in His plan, that the Most High brings better people around you. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace. <laughs>